I'm Madison and I am going to be cooking some vegetable lasagna for On TV's cooking show this year. So what you'll need for this recipe is a jar of marinara sauce. You're going to need lasagna noodles, some shredded carrots. Um, I bought these pre-shredded just because it makes it easier, but you can all you obviously you can shred everything yourself, which is what I'm going to be doing with the zucchini. And um, the zucchini, you need three cups tightly packed is what it says. So that comes out to about about six zucchinis but it's really relative and it doesn't quite matter um you need a package of um mozzarella cheese and two eggs a container of ricotta and just a little bit of shredded parmesan so to get started with this recipe we're gonna be combining all the like cheeses into a big bowl and we're also going to be adding the carrots. So before we put the ricotta, the eggs, and the mozzarella in the bowls, we're going to cook the carrots in the microwave for two minutes so we can add them to it later. So you just need one cup of carrots. I added it to the wrong bowl, <laughs> but it's fine. One cup of carrots, and this is going to go in the microwave. So while those are in the microwave, you're going to put this entire 15 ounce container into our bowl. <laughs> With some help from our friendly spatula. And then we're also going to take a half cup of the mozzarella out so we can put it on top. And it actually just fits in this little bowl perfectly. Just about that much. And then dump the rest into our beautiful cheese mixture. And then we have our two eggs. I'm going to rinse my hands off because I don't want egg hands. And then we're just going to give this a good old mix so that everything is nice and combined. Okay, so now that that looks good, we're Carrots are a few seconds from being done, and I've actually just made this recipe last week. Um, and it's a really good thing that you can just sit and leave so you can enjoy it later. It's a good meal prep um, for just whatever you need. So I'm just tossing all those carrots right in this bowl. So the point of this is just to like make sure the carrots are like a little bit cooked because not all of the moisture inside the crock pot is going to be able to cook them and at home I might like to make it a little bit more um, complicated for myself and instead of putting it in the microwave I actually just boil them for like five minutes or so and then I strain all the water out and call it a good day but we're doing it the easy way today so we've got all our carrots into our cheese and it's looking great so I'm gonna set this off to the side then we're gonna get started on our zucchinis so for our zucchinis, we really don't, <laughs> they're a little more complicated than I wish they were. My mom just puts these in her food processor and um, it's done in like two seconds. But if you don't have a food processor, I'm gonna show you the way to do it yourself um, without the power of a machine. Um, so I'm just gonna start off by cutting all the ends off and then we're gonna have to shred them a little bit. My mom said that I didn't need to shred them entirely, which I don't understand, but zucchinis, I guess, are different than other things. And the skin is okay. So, <laughs> they take up a lot of space. Perfect. Okay. And then I will show you how to shred it, just so it's not too 
you can keep some of the green on is what I'm saying. But it doesn't have to be perfect by any means. So I'm gonna shred the rest of these and you don't have to see it. So I will be right back. Orion Neighborhood Television is your community media outlet. Our mission is to empower community members and groups to create, communicate, and connect through television and video production. For more than 35 years, ONTV has offered video production classes to residents of all ages and provides them with the equipment and facilities to produce their own programs. Not only are residents encouraged to produce programs, but ONTV staff produces programs that promote local nonprofits and community groups like the Chamber of Commerce, the Orion Township Public Library, and the Lake Orion Lions Club, to name a few. The staff ventures out into the community to cover events like parades, festivals, concerts, and high school sports. ONTV has provided the equipment and staffing to televise township and village meetings live and has provided the video equipment that Lake Orion High School students use as they prepare for a career in broadcasting. ONTV's podcast studio and training give producers an opportunity to educate and entertain listeners. To sign up for classes or for more information, call 248-393-1060 or visit orionontv.org. Okay, so I am back and I have all of my zucchinis peeled and now I'm just going to shred them with a cheese grater on the like kind of thicker end and it's gonna give us some beautiful little zucchini shreds. So I'm just gonna take that and just let the zucchini pile up so I can actually <laughs> get it nice and well packed in there. When I made it last week, I only had five zucchinis and it wasn't quite enough because I ended up having to do one extra layer than the recipe said, um, but it was still really good. You know, an extra layer of cheese and noodles isn't gonna make anyone sad <laughs> in a lasagna. Once you get to the end, it's a little more difficult, but I want to try to use as much of the zucchini as possible. So I have this like <laughs> little itty bit. And I think I'm done with that one. So this is my nice little pile from one zucchini, but as the recipe says, they want it to be three cups of packed zucchini. Um, and it gets pretty small. So I'm gonna also later put this in a colander or a strainer so I can like kind of get all this the water out as much as possible. The recipe doesn't say to do that, but I just feel like it would be a really wet lasagna <laughs> if you kept all of it in there because there's an entire jar of sauce in there. So I'm gonna shred the rest of these and show you what it looks like after. Okay, so I know I said I would see you after. <laughs> I was done with everything, but I just wanted to show how much two zucchinis can like actually pack into a measuring cup. So this is the entirety of my two zucchinis and I'm really packing it in there. But I, it's about two per cup, especially once you squeeze all the water out. Um, so yeah, six small zucchinis works pretty well. So I'm gonna get back to shredding. Hi, I'm Jenna Uchkowitz. Animals protect, comfort, and give us their love. It's time we repaid the favor. 
American Humane encourages everyone to do four simple things. Adopt from a local rescue group or shelter, help animals in disasters by becoming an American Humane Rescue Volunteer, choose only humanely raised foods, and help endangered creatures by supporting American Humane certified institutions. Visit AmericanHumane.org to learn more. Okay, so it turns out I only needed four zucchinis to get the three cups that I needed. So that's great. But I think I'm gonna shred one extra just so that I can have more just in case I end up with an extra layer just like last time. Okay, so now I am done shredding my zucchini and turns out I did not need six zucchinis. Um, I needed about five or four actually um so this is more like four and a half cups um but like i said i had an extra layer to do last time i made it so it'll be perfect because i was really short on zucchini last time so we'll get probably four or five layers out of this so right now i'm going to show you how i like squeeze all the water out of it with a strainer and i just like to take my measuring cup that I used and just really squeeze everything out of it and hope to get as much moisture out as possible. Which is not exactly easy. Yeah, you can kind of see that there's like a little bit of moisture out. I don't know, my mom said this was a good step to do, so I will follow in her footsteps. So now that I have completed that, I'm gonna pour it all into the bowl and then we are going to get assembling this thing. Okay, so one step I did forget was that it also calls to add an entire teaspoon in the whole recipe, but to split a teaspoon of salt in between both the cheese and the zucchini. So we're gonna do that and mix it all around. So here's the half teaspoon for the zucchini and the half teaspoon for the cheese mix. There we go. Now we're gonna mix all that up and just pretend that we did it earlier. And I'm gonna be using the same spatula because it's all going in the same dish. Okay, perfect. So now it is time for assembly and this is where our sauce and our noodles come in. Okay, so we've got our crock pot and we're gonna take the top off. And the first step is to put a layer of sauce into the bottom. And I'm sure that was a loud pop just now. <laughs> I'm sorry about that one. Put it right in front of my mic. Um, it actually calls for a third cup of sauce, but I forgot to bring it. So I'm just gonna do heaping quarter cups and call it a good day. So it doesn't look like a lot, but we are gonna end up using the entire thing and just, I'm gonna spread it around a little bit, make sure it's covering the entire bottom. But we're gonna end up dumping the entirety of the remaining sauce over the top of all of it and then putting the final bits of cheese on it. Now this recipe actually only uses about a half of a container of lasagna noodles so actually i think less than half because i'm using the same stuff that i used last week and there's still quite a bit left over so I'm gonna what you're gonna try to do is you're gonna break them in half 
and then just try to fit them as well together as possible. Like with a round crock pot, it's definitely not going to be perfect since the noodles are rectangular. But when it's all cooked together, you really cannot notice that there aren't noodles. Like it's a lot of noodles in every single bite. But I'm just very particular and I want it to kind of look like there are. So there's that. Gorgeous. And then we're going to add an entire cup of our cheese mixture on top of that one. And then I'm going to spread it around with my spatula. And you kind of got to be careful so the noodles don't like completely move around. But just want to make sure it's covering everything. I like to make sure it's extra perfect, um, which I'm sure some people may have sympathies with, but it might not matter to other people, but it's fine. Okay, that's looking pretty good to me. So now we're gonna take a cup of our zucchini. We're gonna pack that in there nice and tight, and then we're gonna plop that in there. And we're spreading that around and it's much easier with an entire layer of cheese on top. And that is looking perfect. So if we're just gonna repeat the steps and it's gonna be sauce, noodles, cheese, zucchini, repeat. So here's our next layer of sauce. Maybe a little more, I don't really know what a third cup is, but I'm gonna say this is close enough. But it's a really, really thin layer. So I just try to get it kind of incorporated into the zucchini because you can kind of see it falling through the cracks and stuff. But I don't know about you, I would rather have my bite have more sauce in it than just a random bite of zucchini. Even though I like it, I don't really want it by itself. So that is looking great. So I'm just gonna repeat this process and I will show you what it looks like on the final layer. It's also okay if your noodles overlap like this because they're all gonna cook since they're sitting in this like stew-ish type thing for three hours, so. Fun fact I learned about the zucchinis is that actually they work a lot like strawberries and sugar. Once you add the salt to them, it kind of drags out the water more. So I think what I'll do next time I make it is add the salt and let it sit for a little bit and then try to drain out all the water because I think it will be more successful that way. So as you can see, we still have like quite a bit of sauce left, probably like up to here-ish. So that's gonna go on the top and it'll make for a very wonderful lasagna.
Okay, so now we are on to our final touches of our lasagna. I've got all of the layers in here. It came out to like three and a half, four-ish based on how much cheese I had left over. Um, and of course all the zucchini that I use. So now we're just gonna pour the rest of this on and just make sure that all the noodles are covered so they can cook well. And then we're gonna put our last little bits of cheese. That's looking good. We're gonna spread that around. Now, the amount of cheese that I'm about to put on is what the recipe says. And I myself had a little bit more cheese at home left over, just like in my fridge. So I put on a lot more, um, probably about like a cup and a half rather than just this little half cup of cheese that we set aside, but I didn't want to have a bunch of leftover here. So here's our last bit of cheese that we're just gonna sprinkle on top. It doesn't look as sad as it did the first time. And then that's gonna be all nice and melted and gorgeous once it's all done. And we're all set. This is our lasagna. We're gonna set it aside. It cooks for three hours, so it's good to just have so you can eat it later. And we're done. So I'm gonna show you the finished product in a second. So let's look forward to that. All About Connections is a 90-minute suicide prevention training hosted by the North Oakland Community Coalition. This training uses the QPR method to educate and prepare participants to recognize warning signs of suicidal ideation and supply resources to their friends and family. We offer All About Connections to strengthen our bonds and ensure the Lake Orion community is fully supported by the people around them. We are available for ages 14 and up and can customize your training to your group. Whether it is a business owner and their employees or a group of parents with their future college students, this is a great opportunity to connect with one another and build confidence that everyone is prepared to help their friends and family in a crisis. If you would like to schedule a training or learn more about All About Connections, email Jill McCollum at jmccollum at nocmi.org. Okay, so with the power of movie magic, our lasagna is done and it is looking absolutely gorgeous. Here is a little cross section of it. Oh my gosh, look at all those angles. I think it looks really, really good. It takes, like I said, three hours in the slow cooker and for one serving, it's only 327 calories. There's 19 grams of protein. 30 carbs, all stuff like that. I just think it's a pretty well-rounded recipe for something that doesn't even have meat in it. I think the protein really surprised me. You can freeze it. It makes a ton that small families or like people on their own can't really finish, but it freezes really well. I would just say to defrost it before <laughs> you try put popping it in the oven. I like to cook it in the oven. I think it warms it really well. But uh, yeah, this has been Veggie Lasagna for On TV's Cooking Show. Thank you for watching.